Noteplan just created the ability to pretty easily create some custom shortcuts, and I wanna show you two easy ones that I'm really excited about. One of them is a voice ad. I can do this with Siri. And another one is to add with text and these work both on Mac and on iOS. So let me show you how to get going with them. I'm going to go to my ad to today and just edit it to show you how I set it up. Let me go into my shortcut details and turn off the quick action so you can just see how simple it is as its base. Basically, you can add text. You choose what note you want to add it to. You can choose if you want to append or prepend. If you want to add it under a heading, you have that option. You can choose if you want it to be text, a task, a heading, bullet, and so forth. You can also choose the priority. I'm gonna explain why I check this in a moment, but let me just show you how to get started from scratch. So you would go into your shortcuts. You can do this on your Mac or on your phone. You just go into the shortcuts app. It's built in on both platforms. Click on the plus sign to build your own new shortcut and then search for an app. Just search for a note plan. Currently, I'm not sure if these shortcuts are supported just on the beta or on the fully released version. I am on the beta. So if this isn't working for you, it's probably just because it hasn't been pushed out yet. So you can either choose to open note plan. I want to actually add to a note. So I'm going to double click on that and then click on show more. So if you just want to add in some text that you type, you don't need to do anything else except choose the note that you want to add it to. The calendar notes are like your today, your tomorrow, your next week, as it says, note that the today is a reference. So that means if you choose today, it's always going to be whatever today's date is. So it's not a fixed date, it is relative to what today is. So I'm choosing today's note, but I also actually have one set up where I add it to my quick task list. And so you can create multiple shortcuts depending on what you want to do. So this one I'll just add to today's note and then you can title it so that you can separate all of these shortcuts. So this is like today quick add, whatever you want it to be called. Then you choose if you want to prepend or append, basically if you want it at the very bottom of your list or you want it at the very top of your list. And then if you want to put it under one of your headings, you choose the heading here. Now, I have a template for my today's note. And so I have the same headings in pretty much every one of those today's notes. If you don't use headings like that and you don't use templates, then leave this blank. But if you do use a heading, don't put the hashtags, just put the name of the heading here. And that's all you would do. Let's just leave it blank for this one to keep it simple and then choose what type you want it to be. I chose task and I chose no priority. That is it at its base. So the most basic one is that you would leave this blank, you would leave this blank, you would choose what note you wanna add it to, you would choose if you wanna prepend or append, and you would choose what type you would like. That's actually it. Make sure that you name it like I showed there. Now, if you click on the I button here, then you can choose to add a keyboard shortcut. And I like to do that. I like to add a keyboard shortcut. And when you do that, it's going to add this little thing up here. Don't worry about that. And you can just type in whatever custom shortcut that you want. Just make sure it doesn't conflict with anything else, of course. All right, so that's really how you do it at its basic. One more thing that I wanna show that's a little bit advanced if you wanna do it with Siri. So say we call this one voice quick ad like that. Let's click back on this action library button. And then we don't want no plan. Now we want dictation. So dictate text, put that as your first line. And then the text to add is whatever is dictated. So if you start typing it, you'll see dictated text that you can choose. You can only choose that because we did that as a first line. So make sure the order does matter. Make sure you dictate first and then add it to the note like this. And that's it. Now you'll have that voice quick add. So when you are on your phone, for example, or you can use Siri on your Mac, you would just say voice quick add, whatever the name of the shortcut is, that's what you use as a command. And then it will ask you what text you want to add and you can just 
talk that out and it will add to your note. This works on an iPad, it works on a phone, and it works on your Mac. It will not work on your Apple Watch though because Note Plan is not supported on the Apple Watch, so it can't remember that dictated task to pass to Note Plan. So note that this will not work on your Apple Watch. However, if you leave dictate text off, so if we go back to the add to today that I had here, this will work on your Apple Watch. So I really still want something that will work with dictation on my Apple Watch, but I can't figure out how to do that with Note Plan alone. You could probably pass it through another app, but I'm keeping this simple for now. So that's really it. How do you add your shortcuts to your home screen on your Mac? Just go into edit widgets and then search for shortcuts. Choose to add whatever shortcut type you like. Then right click on the shortcut, edit shortcuts. And then here is where you'll choose which shortcut you actually want done. And now you have a shortcut on your Mac. On your phone, hit the down arrow button next to the title of your note, and then just choose add to home screen. And then you can choose an icon and a color add and you're done. If at any time you need to edit your shortcut, you just right click on it, press edit. And I'm gonna delete this one since it's a replica. All right. I think that's it. I hope this is helpful. Bye for now.